Hi YouTube, it's Adette Wellington again. And today I want to talk to you guys about what happens if you don't separate your hair. And I haven't separated my hair in, I don't know, I guess it's been about two months or so. And so I um, have a lot of good examples to show you. So in a moment I'm going to change the camera angle and we can really get close. All right, so just to show you the length, again, for those of you who are new to my channel, I've been growing my dreads out for 15 years now. Mm. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who has been here at my channel for the last three years. I really appreciate it. I really want to thank everyone who's bought a copy of the book. If you... um you know, are interested in growing dreadlocks in sort of the semi-free form way, please uh, click the link below and you can get yourself a copy of the ebook that will explain exactly how I did it and how to maintain it. And also, if you are interested in consulting with me, you can also just email me and we can schedule a time. It's a dollar a minute, and I'd love to talk to you. It would be great if we could um, do video chat. That way I could look at your hair and kind of see what you need to do. All right. So, like I say, 15 years and counting. There's always one super long one. That's two of them. I give thanks. And like I say, the hair is always loose there's no oil all i do is shampoo and go and if you are interested in reforming semi-free forming just shampoo no oil no conditioner no oil no conditioner all right don't use anything that has that slick feeling to it you really want your shampoo to be as clear as possible. You want it to be drying. Your hair is going to be dry. So I don't want you to worry about that. What you're going to do is have really nice light dreadlocks. This is especially true if you have curly um, African hair. So if you are sort of mixed, your hair is going to be heavier. And that's sort of, you can do it my way, but I just want you to know your hair is going to be heavier. If you have sort of typical black hair, you can really rock out your hair for years and it will, will not get heavy. And also, you'll notice that my roots are loose. I don't tighten them because who has time for that? Not to mention that would hurt. Okay, so, all right, I'm going to change the camera angle and then we are going to get in there and do some ripping because I kind of want my hair fuller. I have Leo ascending, so you know how it is. All right. All right, I am back. So let's get close. I think that's a cat hair. Yes, it was. All right, so here... We can see right off the bat that we've got a dreadlock that is merging up quite nicely with another dreadlock, but look what happens. If you don't separate, your hair will just merge into one big dreadlock. So, boom. Done. Alright, so now we're moving on. Now, I don't usually look in the mirror when I do this. I just sort of feel it as I'm sitting there, probably bored talking to someone. And I sit there and do it. Ooh, okay. So you can see, yeah. You can see how much hair is there merging together. So what will eventually happen is these will go whoosh, and look, this one's also attached. I think that was one of the major ones I wanted to show you. So, first we'll do that one. Sometimes I just go ahead and do that. And 
Oh, look at that. Ow. There we go. Okay. Easy. Only mildly painful. See, I can barely stand any kind of, like, pressure on my head. Alright. Ooh. Yep. <clears throat> it's been a while. Aha! Uh -huh, this is the one. So, check it out. I am almost too late. These two dreadlocks were about to be one dreadlock, okay? See that? See how much hair is there? So I probably haven't pulled these apart in, you know, I don't know, a long, long time. Alright, so like I say, if you, if I didn't come along and do this now, if it, that would eventually grow together, that would get tighter and tighter, and that would link up and merge, and it would look like that, <laughs> and eventually as the hair grew longer, I mean, this part typically won't merge together that much. I mean, maybe a little bit, but not really. So, here we go. Let's rip it apart. Oh, yeah. That was satisfying. Alright. Move on. Alright, I'll come up here. See what we've got. another one. It's got quite a bit of hair. Oh man, that kind of hurt. I'm such a baby. Alright, so this is one of the baby dreadlocks that is trying to get with this. Nope. I say no. I say you have to be your own little baby. Okay. Nope. Looks like we got another little wee thing there. Oh, hello, you little baby. I'm gonna do it like that. Okay. Right. Check. Okay, how moving one moves the other. Because they're trying to be one. Trying to be one. This usually takes me less time, but I'm being slow because I'm explaining it to you. But um, so this is one that I'm going to leave alone. Why? Because. <clears throat> This dreadlock here is kind of small at the roots, and it's getting rather long, and so you can lose a dreadlock like this because the base is so small, and you know, it'll happen like while you sleep or something, it'll just go rip, or you sit in a chair and it pulls, something like that. So. In order just to keep the dreadlock around, not that I care, many dreadlocks coming. Um, I'm just gonna leave this alone and let these two merge together. It's a marriage I approve of. It's like one of those that'll bring more prosperity to the kingdom. Oh, I sound like a Rastafarian saying the word kingdom. Not a Rastafarian, by the way. I do get that question a lot, and the answer is no, I'm not a Rastafarian. <laughs> and I, you know, don't have anything against Rastafarianism, 
it's just not something not in any religion really um so i have this hair because i don't want to comb my hair and i don't believe that i need to have straight hair in order to be um, aesthetically pleasing to myself or to the world. So, I love this. I love it. So, I'm not a Rastafarian. I just happen to not want to comb my hair. And this is a result. Now, yeah, like I say, no offense to any Rastas out there. I'm not a Rastafarian, but I, you know, completely appreciate everyone's religion. I'm continuing this so that I can have it totally done. Okay, so I'm going to put the camera back and see if you guys think there's any difference after I've gone through and done my separating. I always think my hair looks a bit fuller, and I don't know, perhaps it will look longer, I don't know, we'll see. Alright, so we got the camera back, and this is post-merging, or separating rather. So I think it looks a bit fuller, I got everything pulled down. Alright, sorry about that. Um, so, does it look any longer? Any of them grow? Hmm. I think it looks more even. But there is one that is longer than the others. Anyway, I think it makes it look fuller. What do you guys think? I hope you guys are um, not using fluoride in your toothpaste or your water because again if you want a full head of hair and you want to be able to pick up a pencil when you're in your 60s, I recommend you don't use fluoride in your toothpaste and your water but also make sure that your hair is thick and that you don't just start losing hair. Don't use a microwave either. because. It's just radiation. Some of you guys talk to me about how thick my hair is, and maybe it is thick, you know? I think my dad had a lot of hair. He died when I was a baby. But, um, you know, I know one thing is that I've been very careful about excluding fluoride from my diet and my life. So, I'm watching you guys. Make sure that you're taking care of your health that you're not using fluoride and that you don't use a microwave and that you're also avoiding partially hydrogenated oil and high fructose corn syrup. <laughs> Screw it. You think I care? You think I care about this? I don't care about this. Okay. All right, guys. Until next time. Again, thank you so much for being here and for just being a part of my channel and for liking and subscribing and for buying my book and for consulting with me. It really means a lot and I'll never um, lose sight of that and I really just appreciate that and thank you guys for your patience and I'll see you in my next video.